Hello, in the last videos we discussed many problems on greedy algorithms. Let's discuss the next one. Here is the question, read it and give it a try. Given n items where the weight of i item is 2 power i and the cost is cost of i. Find the minimum amount required to purchase the item such that combined weight is at least min weight. So let's say we have n is equal to 5 and the cost factor is 2, 5, 7, 11, 25. And we have to return the minimum cost to find to get at least 26 weight from the given one. So the optimal one is buy 2 units of 0th item. So it will be 2 into 2. It will be 4 rupees. It will be 4. And for 3 units of 3rd item, it will be 33. And even the weight will be 2 into 1 plus 3 into 8. It will be 26. So the minimum cost to get 26 is 37. And the constraints are n is less than or equal to 30 and v of j is less than or equal to 29. So what is the first idea? It is simply an abstract because it was directly given in the question. DP of index and weight indicates the least answer, least cost to get from index and weight W. And as n is less than or equal to 30 and weight is less than or equal to 29, it will not pass as 13 to 19 does not lie in the range to 8. So what is the next observation? So let's just try to make an easier sub problem. So the question asks us to find the answer for at least min weight. And now let's just try to discuss what is the idea to find answer for exactly W weight. So the zeroth item 1 kg cost is V of 0. For sec 2 kg of second item it is V of 1. And for 4 kg of third it is V of 2 and so on. So for example we have to find what is the minimum cost for exactly 4 kg. What are the possibilities that we can buy for? We can simply buy third unit once, only once. And we can buy second unit twice so that it will be 2 into 2 and which is 4. And similarly, we can buy 4 units of first as well. So it will be 4 into 1. So we can buy 4 kg from 4 into 1, 2 into 2 and 1 into 4. Or we can buy 2 into first or plus 1 into 1 into 2 as well. But these are the most simplest cases because this will use only one index at a time. Which is the answer for the four cases? It is least of all because we were asked to return the least one. So the least cost for all these is the answer. So for example, one kg is V of zero. Then what is the answer for two kg? If we have answer for one kg. So from for two kg, it will be directly V of one if the size is less than two. So for two kg, it will be V of one and we can buy two units of the before item as well to get two cases. So it will be simply minimum of V of one and two of two into V of zero. So V of one, when we directly take one unit of this product or two into V of zero, if we are trying to take two into the before one, because it will be two in two power i minus one and the next will be two power i. So to get the present one from the before one, we can simply multiply by two so that we can take two units of one, two units of the before one. So the cost will be doubled. So it will be simply minimum of these both. And let's take a small example and let's observe some more things. So if the given array is V0, V1, V2, V3 and the costs are 2, 5, 8 and 15. What is the minimum cost to get one unit? So we must only buy this because we have to take some multiples of that but not fractions of that. For example, if we have 4, we can make, we can buy 4, 8, 12 and so on. But we cannot buy 2 and 4, buy 2 and 1 from this. So for 1, there is only one possibility, V of 0. And what is the minimum cost for exactly 2? We can take 2 into this, which is 4, or we can take directly this as well, which is 5. And as we discussed, the answer is minimum. It will be minimum of these both. And for 2 power 2, we can, we got an optimal answer for 2 kg as 4 rupees. So what will be answer for 4? It will be simply 8. Because we are buying the 2 units of before on. So the minimum of 8 and this 8, which will be exactly 8. So the minimum cost to buy it, 4 is 8. What is the minimum for 2 power 3? It will be minimum of 2 into 8, 16 and the value v of 3 which is 15. So minimum of this is 15. So minimum cost to buy 2 power 3 is 15. And what if we have to buy 2 power 4? <coughs> there is no v of 4. So we must buy the before 1 to get this because we got the optimal answer for 2 power 3. So obviously we have to buy only this one for higher because this is the least cost to get this. No v of 4. So simply it will be 2 into v of 3. And similarly 2 power 5. No v of 5. No v of 5. So it will be simply 2 into answer of 2 power 4. And answer of 2 power 4 is 2 into v of 3 from the before one. So it is simply 2 power 2 into v of 3. So if any, if the 2 power y, if you are finding the answer for 2 power value which is greater than or equal to n, we can simply buy 
required amount of last values. So for 2 power y, we can buy 2 power y minus n plus 1 because the last value is 2 power n minus 1. And if you are buying x times, so that we will get 2 power y, it will be simply 2 power y minus n plus 1. So these many units we can buy of the v of n minus 1 1. So now we update the given array from this v of j is equal to v of j minimum of v of j and 2 into v of j minus 1. And we can find the least cost to buy 2 power x k is in offer because we are storing in the array. So if the if the 2 power which is less, is less than or equal to n minus 1, we can get from this. Or if it is greater than n, we can we can buy 2 into n minus that into v of n. So in any case, we can find the answer in offer. We got the answer for 2 power x. So given some set of i, 2 power i, then we can find the least cost as well because we got the op optimal answer for 2 power x. Then we can find the optimal answer for 2 power x2 and 2 power x3 and so on. So then we can get answer for some 2 power subset. So given a number, we can write binary representation in 2 powers and if the bits are set, we can get the answer. So it, as the numbers are up to 1 in 8, the maximum set bit can be 30. So for j is equal to 30 to 0, if the required number has a set bit, for example, if the number is 9, it will be 1001. So we are traversing from 30, 2 power 30 is not set, 2 power 29 is not set, and 2 power 3 is set. These all are not set, and we came to this. This is set bit, so we want 2 power 3 units. So how can we find the least cost? So we have discussed before. So we can simply find answer plus is equal to this one, because we have to buy this, and we have to buy this as well. So we can loop, and if the bit is set, we can find the answer. We can count the answer. So we got the answer for subpart of the subproblem, exact double bit. But now we want exact at least w. So the next one is we can simply answer of x, function of x, and function of x minus x plus 1, and so on till 1. Because we got the answer for x, we can buy x plus 1 if this cost is less. Similarly, we can buy any one till 1 in n, at least 1 in n. So in this way, we can find the answer for at least x. But if x is equal to 1, then we have to traverse all 1 in n which is not possible. So let's discuss the next idea. So let's say this is the amount that we are buying, we are thinking to buy. The value is 44 if we convert this into binary. So we are finding the answer for at least 44 cases. How can we do this? For example, we have we have given this binary number and we have to select some bit such that final will be greater than or equal to 44. So what is the first idea? Take any one from the left because let's say we have 100. Zero, zero. We want 8. We want the answer for at least 8. What is the first possibility? If we take any at least one from the right side, it will be surely greater than or uh, sum of all these because we have 100 zero, zero and 0, 011. One, one. This is 8 and this is 7. So if we want this bit, we can take at least one from greater bits so that it will be greater than the required value. For example, this is a 44. And this is the highest set bit. And if we take any value from the left side, so this is 2 power 6. If this is 1, it will be 2 power 6. And if this is 0, and this will be 2 power 7. So 2 power 6 is 64, is obviously greater than 44. And 2 power 7 is also greater than 44. And similarly, any value which is less, which is left to the highest MSB will be greater than the present value. So from this, the first idea is, for example, this is the highest bit then we can find the minimum answer for this or any values from this. If you take at least one value from the left, it will be surely greater than this. So there is no need to take at least two. It is sufficient to take exactly one from the left side. Because if you take at least one, it will be greater. If we take two also, it will be greater. But obviously we want the least cost. So we can take simply one from the left side and we can ignore any other. For example, if the value we are checking is 1001 which is 9 and for, for example we are this is the msb so let's set this bit so if you find answer for 1000 0, 0, 0, which is 16 this one bit is 1 and other all are unset so this value is greater than 9 so even we can find the answer for this so the first idea is given a binary number to get the greater than the given number we can find the msb and we can take at least one from the left side. What is the other idea? Let's say we are not interested in taking the higher values. So we are not, we are restricted to not select these and we have to select only from these one. So we have to take the first one because it is 100. Let's say this is 1001. 
is there a possibility to select to not select the highest one and we can select zero from this and we can select all from this no because let's say one we have eight so one zero zero what is the main goal we are not going to choose any one from the left side and we are ignoring the highest B, msb as well even now if we take all other values it will be seven and the required value is eight so to get at least one to get at least higher value we must take the present msb and we can get the answer from other part because from this we understood that even if we take the all other bits than the msb it will be one less than the highest one so if we are decided not to take the left any value from left one we must take the present msb and then we can find the answer for rest of the part so don't take anyone from left but we want to get the equal to x so take the present bit for sure we must take one and then find the least cost to get at least from the remaining case so what so what is the main idea so let's say we want the answer for 10010 what is the first idea then we can take any one value from this so that 2 power j will be greater than all these value this is the first part and if we are not interested to take any one we can take one for sure and we can find some answer for greater than or equal to initial value let's say this is x initial value minus 2 power msb because we we got that we must take this in the answer we must take this initially we are checking for greater than or equal to this value but now we have chosen this value so for rest of the answer we have to find answer for x minus 2 power msb because this is it because we have taken this in our answer so answer plus is equal to function of our present bit so this returns the minimum cost for 2 power msb and we have included this in the answer and for the rest of the answer we want answer for at least x minus 2 power msb so this is x and is msb so in this way we can find recursively the answer what is the next one from this we understood that if we are at msb we have to return the minimum answer that is possible if we are taking at least one from the left side from more msb from the higher bits so let's say we are at bit j and we want the least value in v of j plus 1 v of j plus 2 because we have j plus 1 is 2 power j plus 1 and similarly we have n minus 1 is 2 power n minus 1 so at present bit we can take any one from this so that our condition greater than or x will be satisfied so what will be the answer it will be simply minimum of 2 power j plus 1 answer of 2 power j plus 1 minimum of answer of 2 plus 2 power j plus 2 and so on to the last value so we can simply store suffix minimum of j because for j we want all from j plus 1 to n minus 1 For j plus one, we want all from j plus one, j plus two to n minus one, and so on till all. So we can simply make suffix array so that we can get any minimum of suffix in all one. So S M of j is equal to minimum of whole v of j, v of j plus one till v of n minus one, because v of j is the least cost to get two bars. And similarly, we can travel. This is just updating the suffix min. We are start traversing from last, and we are updating the present value with next value so that we can get minimum of whole all this. So in this way, at bit j, we got optimal answer for selecting at least one from the left side in all one. So, what is the main idea? So let's say we are finding the answer for at least l. We are finding the answer for at least l cases. So we want msb. So we want msb. And there are many different cases because let's say this is the given array. n is equal to four. So from directly from this, we can find the answer for only values till two bar three. But what if the value is twenty? Let's say that twenty, and the binary representation will be one zero one zero zero. So these both are set. It will be two power four plus two power two. But the highest value is two power three. So this can be the highest bit, which is four, because this is one. So this is the highest bit that is set. So based on the different conditions of this, then the answer will be bracket. Let's assume that bit is bit is less than n minus one. So we have error of size four, and we just want answer for two power value. Which is less than n minus one. So let's assume this is one, and the size is three, and we want answer for two power one. So now, what are the possible cases? We can take at least one from the left one, so it will be simply suffix min of bit plus one. So we want two power one, and what is this one is doing? It is simply minimum of answer for two power two, answer of two power three, and so on till two power n minus one. As we have pre-computed this before, it will be simply SM of two. Because this is S M of two, and we we just simply want the least value for all of this. So the first option is 
select at least one from the left side. So we are selecting the least one. It will be SM of bit plus one. And now we are not interested to select the higher ones. What is the next idea? So we must take the present bit. We have discussed before. So V of bit because this is the answer for two power bit least answer. Place function of vector and at least this value because required value is greater than or equal to L and we have selected this bit. So we can remove this from the answer. So it will be simply L minus two power bit. And now we want the answer for at least this value of cages. So V of bit plus function of this and finally return the answer. And now let's come to the second part. If bit is equal to n minus 1, it means that for example, this is the one and we want answer for 2 power 3 because this is the last value and we not have any other values which are in the right side, in the left side because this is 2 power 3 and even the suffix minimum will be of this size because SM, the SM of n minus 1 will be this, the SM of n minus 2 will be minimum of all this and we will be minimum of all this answer. So SM of 4 is not there because the array size is 3, array size is 4. So SM of only 3 will exist and SM of 4 does not exist. So the only case now present is we have to must select the present one. So the only possibility is V of bit plus function of V of n L minus remaining part. Because there is no SM of bit plus 1. So in this way we can just try to take the present one. And what if bit is greater than n minus 1. So in this case there is no left part because even for n minus 1 it is not there. So for higher bits it will be not there for sure. So now now also the only case left is we are taking the present MSP. But bit is greater than minus 1. So this is the case. So the highest value is 2 power 3 and we are checking the answer for 2 power 4. From before we checked that for 2 power value which is greater than bit it is surely benefit to take the last one. So what is the cost for this? It will be simply V of n minus 1 into this one. Because we are buying this, this amount of units from the last one. So it will be simply the cost it will be the number of units we are buying into the last one cost. So this will be the cost for 2 power bit if that is greater than or equal to n. And we are simply adding the answer. And we are adding L minus 2 power bit in the answer. So in this way we can find the MSB and based on the value of MSB we can find the answers. What is the base case finally? If L is equal to 0 it will return 0 because we want at least 0 cases. L is equal to 0 means is at least 0 cases. So basically answer is 0. In this way we can find the answer. Let's check the code. We are inputting the vector and we are computing the new v of j. Minimum of v of j to 2 of v of j minus 1. And we are updating suffix min of j. And finally print the value function of v comma l. It means that we want the answer for at least l cases. So this is the recursive code. Function of v of l, v comma l. If l is equal to return 0. Else we are finding the msb. How to find msb? It is simply log 2 of the ba log base to the value 2. So it is simply log l to the base 2. Because if the value is 9, 1, 0, 0, 1. So it will be simply, bit will be 3. So in this way we can get msb. So msb is this and we are finding the size. And if bit is equal to minus 1, we are just using this. If bit is equal to minus 1, the only case left is present the check. Surely take the present bit and find the answer for rest of the part. So it will be simply v of bit, which is the cost for 2 power bit plus function of v comma l minus 2 power bit and similarly these all are discussed before so in this way we can return the answer if you have any doubts comment below see you in the next video